it's not just weather that's holding up travel for some passengers. One father and son who lives with disabilities who were planning to fly from Buffalo say that they had to cancel their plans because the American American Airlines flight that they were hoping to board wouldn't let them on the plane. Our Sydney Orr spoke with them to find out why this flight would have been vital for them. This way. If you ask this father and son duo what their family is like, they'd say they're just like anybody else. You know, James is a typical five-year-old boy. He just graduated kindergarten. Oh, he, he loves. You're welcome. Loves playing on playgrounds. Loves his friends. In fact, James says there's lots of love to go around. How much do you love hanging out with your dad? <laughs> For these two, every adventure means a little bit more since James was diagnosed with congenital muscular dystrophy. His disease is rare. There's no cure oh. for it. There are no treatments. Parisi says once a year, these two travel to Bethesda, Maryland to see a team of neuromuscular specialists at the NIH. We've done it every year, I think the past four years. Parisi says they participate in a natural history study, which is a part of the groundwork to develop treatments and ultimately a cure. The plan was to fly out of Buffalo with American Airlines on Tuesday, but those plans never got off the ground. They had started the boarding process. I approached the, the gate agent and I just asked, like I do, like I did the first time we traveled, to speak with the grounds crew manager and I wanted to make sure that everyone understood sort of the importance and the sensitivity to the chair. It's brand new. But that's when Parisi was told the chair wouldn't fit. You knew I had a wheel. I was traveling with a wheelchair. There were no guidelines or, or, or guidance at all on size limits or restrictions or anything like that. Parisi says they offered a different one-stop flight on a bigger plane, but the risk of damaging this 10 thousand dollar wheelchair at the connection point was too big a risk so he called the NIH and told them they weren't going to make it I mean that's valuable time with the world's best doctors that are studying this particular condition and um, you know we missed out on the our ability to do that I reached out to American Airlines which issued this statement saying we want all of our customers to have a positive travel experience when they fly with us including those who travel with wheelchairs and assistive devices a member of our team has reached out to the customer to learn more about their experience the infrastructure that we sort of live and understand wasn't built for wheelchairs. It wasn't built for the disabled community. 